So in case you didn't know, just over the last 24 hours, we have seen a post that had this information in it. And what it says is, is that as promised, the full PS4 Syscon Flasher tutorial is now available for everybody. So you can bring your Tensi 2.0 plus a 100 to 200 ohm resistor and you're ready to flash your original Syscon chip. Now, the first thing to note here is, is that yes, there is a video tutorial but there is not any files. Now I have asked for the files right here and obviously I haven't heard anything back from them since then. Now the other person that was mentioned right here, if we go over to their Twitter account, you can see it says, get a deeper look at our tool and its features. And basically that goes to the same link. And then if you scroll down into this, there is a question of when it's going to be available. And it says, I thought the download link was in the video. And they wrote it back saying that it will be available today. So 22 hours, at least at the time of this recording, has passed and we still don't have any of those files. Now, I'm definitely not saying that they're not going to give the files, but right now they're currently not available. So if you did want to go ahead and check this out, you really wouldn't be able to do anything outside of just watch the YouTube video. Now, if that changes, I'll add a link to it in the description below. And let me just go ahead and clearly state that the reason that you would want to do this kind of PS4 Syscon flasher is, is to be able to revert your PlayStation 4 to an exploitable firmware. That's primarily the reason most people would want to do this. So if you had a 9.03 system, you could just go back to 9.00. Or if maybe you upgraded a 9.00 system to 10.50, you could go back to that previous firmware version. And now another reason that you might want to do this is simply because you would be able to take your 9.00, update it to 10.50, and then activate it, and then revert back to 9.00, and then you could have an activated PlayStation 4 setting on 9.00, which is, well, for the most part, not that common. I certainly don't have one. And so the reason that this is so substantial right now, at least, is mainly because Better Way Electronics has had a Syscon writer that has been available for some time now. But if you scroll down into the purchase links here, you can see that for the blue edition, they obviously give you the chip that you need and the software. And this is at 252 US dollars. Now there was an older version right here, which was for 225. But really for the most part, these people are absolutely just wanting it to be something that is free for the community. And now this isn't the first time that obviously we've seen someone that has released a tool to almost kind of combat some of the work that Better Way Electronics is doing. But it was definitely this one right here by the coder who is on YouTube. Now, this is obviously something very different than the Syscon writer, but this was a NOR modifier. And this is just one that they released for free, mainly because, again, they wanted to have a free solution versus making anybody pay for anything. Now, I am absolutely not affiliated with the coder or this person or even Better Way Electronics. And really, all I aim to do here is to at least present the information and you can form your own opinion. And just one other thing is, is that I absolutely do not know where their version of the PS4 Syscon Flasher came from. From what I understand, it was developed by themselves. Obviously, it's leaning on the backs of many different other hackers that originally did the exploits. But there has been some talk of, you know, hey, did this come from Better Way Electronics? Did somebody buy this tool over here and then reverse engineer the software? Is that why we've got this right here? I definitely do not know. But the one thing that I will state is, is that Every single person in the scene, there's some sort of ripping off from somebody else. And I mean that as 
every single piece of homebrew, every single piece of hardware that comes out, it's built on the back of other people that either found the exploits or did some of the initial research and discovery. And that is really why we all have it. So now switching over and taking a quick look at the video here. So looking at the actual tool features, it says original Syscon flash dumps. It says for a full one, it's about 50 seconds. There is an ability to do a partial, so you can dump from any valid block to any valid block. There's also a little bit more information on the write times or the erase times. And then it says enable Syscon debug mode. It says this process can be done on the fly. So there's no need to dump the entire Syscon and apply the patch, then rewrite it like some other tools. And I'm assuming they're talking about the one from BWE. What will you need? And we can see that a Teensy 2.0 plus plus a 100 to 200 ohm resistor, some soldering wire, and it looks like a socket adapter is optional and obviously you'll need some soldering skills. So in order to get that onto your chip, there will be these two files, obviously the tensi.exe, which will flash this hex file on to the device itself. And right here is what that application looks for. So you click on the auto button here, and now you press the button on the tensi, and now we are done. Now you would need to wire up the syscon, and there's a couple of guides here for the slim or for the pro and then this one right here for the fat and here is what that looks like wired up and then finally the application itself so as you see here it looks for a ps4 syscon tool port and then you press the connect button and now you have the option to do a dump full syscon flash dump partial syscon flash you can erase it, you can write to it, or you can enable the Syscon debug mode. So the very first one that they do here is enable the Syscon debug mode. And now once that is done, they do a full dump of the Syscon flash. And now it says the files are identical. And so as you can see right here is the dump. So this is two different dumps. And these two need to be identical because if you do mess these up, then obviously your whole PlayStation 4 will not boot anymore. So they will pull up HXD, which is a hex editor here in just a second. And really in this dump, you can tell pretty easily if it's a clean dump. So for example, you can see Sony Computer Entertainment, all rights reserved in here. Now, if this was just a bunch of garbage or maybe just empty right here on this side, then definitely you would know there's a problem with the dump. But the tool itself also verified they were identical. And then it finally wraps up with writing the full Syscon flash the partial flash, and then the Syscon NVS SNVS only. And now that system can be reverted back to whatever previous firmware that it was on. So anyway, I will leave a link to the full video where you can check that out. And hopefully we'll have the files very soon where we can actually try this out on our own PlayStation 4. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Michael out.